What's kicking guys, Hippon Scott here, and it is finally snowing! Well, that snow didn't last long. It was here for all of like a hot second, and then it disappeared because of all of this freaking rain. Oh my God, how I hate rain. It is so gross and depressing. It makes everything awful. I love snow, rain I cannot stand. I know they come hand in hand, they're both water, but that little bit of different form makes a big difference. Man, but I'm just getting ready to go to work, so I'm super upset. So today is, <laughs> these vlogs are gonna be so weirdly timed the way they're going up with dates. Next one is gonna be the one about my, or the last one you guys would see is the one that's gonna be about my, uh, changing the oil on my bike. This one, we're gonna pick up Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, the new Pokemon game, the last Pokemon game for the 3DS, which is crazy, the end of a new era. It seems like just yesterday I picked up Pokemon X for the uh, Nintendo 3DS. It was revolutionary because it was the first game for uh, the 3D system for Pokemon. And it like blew everyone's mind. And then they went to Aorus, uh, so I went back to a Gen 3. Then they did Sun and Moon, now they're doing Ultra Sun Ultra Moon, which is still Gen 7. Now, depressing thing about this, it actually came out at midnight last night, or today, I guess, whenever. It came out like six hours ago. <laughs> yes, I go to work at 6 a.m. I get up before five, it's pretty upsetting. So tonight I'm going to go pick up Ultra Ultra Moon after work. I don't get off till 7 p.m., which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go pick up the game from uh, EB Games there in Sackville, and then go home, start playing it. Hopefully, give you guys a first little reaction and look at the game from my perspective. I know a lot of people have already done this. A lot of people have completed the game by this point. So what's the point? But I want to do it for myself, and uh, hope you guys you enjoy that. <sighs> so good news, bad news. Good news, I'm off work. Yay! Bad news. They called me to go back into work tomorrow. Which is good, because I get money and I get hours, and it's awesome. But I wanted to go get the Pokemon game tonight and play. And now I can't. I mean, like, technically I could go get the game, but I'd only be able to, like, I'm gonna get home like 8, 8.30. So I'd only be able to play for like an hour, not even, because I need to eat supper and get ready for bed and everything. So it's like, is it worth going to get it tonight and playing for an hour? I need to go to sleep early because I need to get up for work early. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm probably just gonna like relax tonight, get the game tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to film some video of me getting it then. I'm just kind of bummed out, had a long day, wasn't that great. I just wanna go home and sleep. I am finally off work. Oh my God, I felt like that day would never end. Anyway, I'm just heading down now. We're on fourth floor, third floor, second floor, almost first floor, I need to use the bathroom, then head to my car, then head to EB Games. Let's go. Whew. All right, back outside. All right. It's funny, this whole vlog so far up until this point, I think, if I remember right, it's just me walking to work, walking from work, walking to work, walking from work. It's like a never-ending cycle. And what's great about that, I know it's boring for you guys to see as like a background thing, but that's my life. <laughs> I basically go to work, then come home from work. And that's pretty much it. He's a smoker. Gross. Oh. <laughs> So there's actually a ton of cars right now. There's a parade going on, so I'm not gonna run across the street because that's super dangerous and I don't really want to put up with that right now. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to right now. There we go. Okay. <sighs> I know I just said it was super dangerous, but I did it because there was a big break in traffic and I'm fast and I can run. So yeah, if you guys just look, like the parking lot is absolutely fill up. There's people everywhere. There's the, uh, it's called the Parade of Lights. Whew. Yeah, there's like people everywhere. It's called the Parade of Lights. I don't know how well you guys can see me. Oh, well, whatever. It's all good. You guys can hear my voice. Hear my soothing, melodious voice. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Parade of Lights is basically a, a parade that's put on every year. It has like Santa Claus in it. Um, what else? Reindeer has the Grinch in like a Grinch in a jail cell for the regional police. It's, it's kind of cool. It's just a big parade. A bunch of floats, people walking around, cool tricks, a little motorcycle uh, trick people. It, it's a lot of fun. So I usually go, um, this year I'm not, I'm working today, and then Pokemon obviously takes priority, but, oh, I can see my car. Oh, I think some jerk parked right behind me. Okay, I hate this. I always park right at the back end of like where you're allowed to park. So like technically nobody's allowed to park behind you, but for some reason, some people just don't understand how to park. And they go and park right behind the sign. That's like, you cannot park this way. But they parked that way, like right behind me. And I don't know why, it's so frustrating. Like go find another place you can legally park. Like seriously, it's not that hard people. Learn to park. I have had a long, long 
two hard days at work. I come to pick up Pokemon Ultra Sun, and EB Games is closed. This is not the face of a happy Hitmon. I'm tired. Let's go to Walmart. All right, made it to Walmart, and there's the posters. Let's go get us a game. I've been literally looking forward to this for such a long time. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. People are gonna think weird now, whatever. Who cares? Ah, oh, there's a dude up there with an awesome Pokemon hat. Let's see if I can't get it. Shoot, the guy turned down an aisle, I couldn't get it. It had like Mewtwo on it, it was actually pretty awesome. I should have got a, him in here. Ah, whatever. Who cares? So we're heading back now through all the baby and kids stuff and everything. Oh my god. Hopefully they sold some left. They'll definitely have copies left. There's no way they sold out. They wouldn't. This is way to oh, charm. Yeah, it is. Okay. I've actually been to Walmart in a long time. Do they have it? <laughs> cool. All right. Let's go ask them if they can get us a, a, a copy here. Song, right? Uh, yeah, please. That'd be great. Thanks. We got it! Hey, we got it! <laughs> Alright, I would use, like, the Zelda music if I had it and if it wasn't copyrighted. <laughs> and, like, we just got a huge achievement in life. I'm so excited. This, if you guys don't know, this is actually the last Pokemon game to be on the 3DS, which is crazy. End of an era. So, I know it was, like, really short because we only had X and Y, uh, Auras, Sun and Moon now, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. So it really didn't have that many games on the 3DS, which is a little weird. But when you think about what they did in those short, like what, three years since X and Y came out? Was it three or four years? I think it's been four years now. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was four years since X and Y came out, which is crazy. I was still working at Sobeys. I remember when I got Pokemon X. Because I got off work, and my friend Jessica texted me, and uh, she was like, yeah, X and Y just came out. I hadn't played Pokemon. Like, I didn't play Gen 5. So the last one I played was... Um, Gen 4. I played Platinum. I think that was it. So I didn't play Gen 5. And then I was like, oh, there's a new Pokemon game. That's cool. And I knew my sister had a 3DS, but I didn't. So um, I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up, I guess. So I went and looked, and I was like, oh, these graphics look amazing. And then it took me like three days to find my sister's 3DS because she didn't play it. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so that was a good time. So you think like the 3DS brought us all these crazy graphics. It brought us all the new Pokemon, the new battling mechanics, all the shining hunting, me uh, shining hunting methods and like Auras with the sneaking, which I think was amazing. I hope they brought that back. But uh, yeah, basically I know nothing about this game. So I know nothing about this game whatsoever, guys. I've avoided all spoilers with the exception of, I know that there's something to do with a lot of legendary Pokemon. There's new Ultra Beasts and what else do I know? There's something called Rainbow Rocket, which I don't know what that is, but it's something in there. So I'm super excited. I need to get my car now though, so I need to unlock it, so I'm gonna put this phone away. <laughs> so it's now a couple days later. Um, I didn't get to record anything else that night. It got a little late, I got distracted playing Pokemon Ultra Sun. But um, I'm back here, surprise, surprise, it's dark, and I'm waiting to go to work. I just parked, I'm a little early. It's better early than late. Life lesson, guys. If you're not 15 minutes early, you're late. Wow, the lighting in here is horrible. Uh, this looks so bad. Ah, uh, whatever, who cares. Um, yeah, so I played a little bit of the uh, Ultra Sun the other night. I'm playing the past couple days. It's an amazing game. I'm loving everything about it. I won't give any spoilers because I had no spoilers going into it at all besides those few things I told you earlier in the video. So I'm super hyped for it. But uh, yeah, I'm still not finished yet. I'm just about to go to the second grand trial. I've been really slow because, you know, work and life and everything. But uh yeah, I think that's about going to call it a vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to show some love to that like button down below. Hit the bell button so you know every time I post. And uh, comment what your favorite part of the new Pokemon games are. <laughs> Alright, keep on kicking, guys. It's Scott. Peace off.